Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a really quick review and general tutorial of the Adalo No Code platform. So this platform enables you to build mobile applications and progressive web applications without knowing any code whatsoever. So jumping straight in, we are at the Adalo website. So you'll see it has, they have a, a pretty solid website. You can see how the, the navigation and the builder is laid out. So you have your pretty traditional drag and drop style interface where you'll drag components over and you can click the components and view basically how the application would function. And then you can see all of these options down here. So you'll, this has the community of no code app creators and you can kind of scroll through and see things that other people have made. So what we're gonna do next is check out plans and pricing. So you'll see three options here, free, which is unlimited apps, published to an Adalo domain, Adalo branding, limited to 50 rows of data per app. You can go to 50 a month and get unlimited apps published to Apple and Google stores, which is great. This is one of the more affordable options that allows you to build and publish to Apple and Google Play. Typically when you're doing this, um, what I've seen, they typically have, or most companies have a tier where it's Google Play, then you pay more, and then it's Google Play and Apple. So it's kind of cool that both of these are bundled in at 50 a month. You get external data collections, which is great. Trigger unlimited custom actions, five gigs of data storage, and one seat app builder. So the five gigs of data storage is honestly kind of on par with many of the other builders out there. So I would say this is a pretty solid deal overall. Then you have your business plan here, which upgrades you to 20 gigs of data, five seats for the app builders, and then a dedicated account manager. So overall, I think most people would probably fall into this pro plan here. Now I've already clicked the sign up option. So I'm gonna show you, I've typed in email and password. So at this point, we're just going through the process. So we're gonna choose a native mobile app. And then maybe we want, so you can choose from these different options. So there's a blank app here. Maybe you want a chat app, which I think is a, a really popular option for many people. So let's choose chat because many people like social media related applications. And then we have app name, we'll call this test. And then you can choose primary and secondary colors. We'll leave it as default just to see what that looks like. Now you have this overview. We're going to stop that. And then just look at how this is set up. So I really like this interface personally. So you'll see you have a couple of options on the left hand side. So when you start the application, you have your welcome screen, login, sign up, profile picture. So the idea here is this kind of looks like wireframing. So I'll put a link in the description to the Figma tutorial I have, which is basically just a tool that you can use to create wireframes and mockups for free on a web-based editor. It's not going to create a mobile app, but helps you to plan it. This looks really similar to wireframing. So you'll see, for example, these lines are flows. So one screen to another, you'll see that it's there are two different directions you can go, so you can go back or forwards. So it's really cool how this is laid out and they give you this canvas. Now you can choose branding, so we'll adjust the colors and you'll see if you look over here at these screens, the color actually changes as you're moving this around. So kind of cool to, to see that. So we'll just kind of go back to this darker red color. But you do have the option to adjust primary and secondary. You can adjust the default background and the default text color, and then adjust the fonts as well. Then you have your screens. So if we click add profile picture, you'll see it's a form and welcome to chat. And that's the text right here. So you can actually just click here and we'll just say, we'll just delete all of this and say welcome. And you'll see it's actually changing over here, although we may need to zoom a bit. So we'll put welcome to the app and you'll see it actually updates over here. And then you'll see click actions, there are none, but you could edit the styles, add actions as needed. We'll click down here and you'll see what data collection, it'll say users, update logged in user. You'll see the fields, so there's a profile picture. So a lot of this is already built out for you, which is really cool to see so that you don't have to go through and basically learn how to do all the back end work. And then you can do just what you would imagine. So basically all of these components that you can edit, when you hover your mouse over them, you'll see that you can click it. Double clicking doesn't appear to do anything, but it basically will show you that it's whatever the element type is, the text, the icon, you can basically adjust the settings and you'll see what the link is. So you'll see we have the chat app. 
you'll see we have the login page so you can just select whatever component on whatever page and you'll see on the left hand side the menu will slide out to edit whatever that component is and you can essentially just scroll around the app and continue to do this so you can change this <clears throat> this option right here maybe you want to resize it maybe you want to make it bigger smaller etc so you can change all of these and do the same here so if we wanted to make the logout button bigger we would just drag it and then we have a larger logout button. So we've basically walked through branding, we've walked through how to select different components or different pages, and you can actually just click and move components as we've seen. Now we'll look at screens. So if you want to click on really any screen, it'll show you the components, the actions, and the available data. So if we were to click on the home screen, you'll see it shows all of the components and then you can select the component and you'll see more information about it and you can click here to go back to home. So you'll see that you have all of the various components for the page and if you click the little eye icon, it'll basically toggle visibility. So for example, if we have the home screen, so let's see if we can go back and we'll see you'll see the page names up here so we have the sign up page and you'll see we have the form so if we were to toggle visibility you'll see that now disappears so we have the ability to click on any of these screens and edit the corresponding information you'll see you have the database as well so you'll see database collections you have users and you'll see all of the information there you have the conversations messages read status so you'll see you have tons of options. You can add properties and collections, start integration trial for external data sources like Airtable, Google, or any custom API. So tons of options to edit here, and you can view and edit records and then view the API documentation as well. So uh, tons of information, and I really, really like the layout. It has a very, very clean layout. Now, if we go to settings, you'll see you have your app name, the description, your app icon, you can choose here, a make your own label option. You have a mix panel token, and then you can share the page or share a page at Allo Banner. You can see you have display settings, so display screen connections. So you'll see here, you also have the display settings, app access, copy and delete. And then you have your publish options for Android, iOS and progressive web app. And then you also have your app analytics. So quite a bit of information here. And then again, you also have the ability to do tons of different things. So you can add components, you can add screens. So if you want, you can choose to add this screen here. We'll just call it test. And when you click create, you'll see the test screen is right here. So you can effectively just do your work on this screen. You can then add components. So if we wanted to add a button, we could drop it in on this screen. You can edit the settings for what this button does, change the rounding shadow, make it uppercase, or so there's tons of different options. So you can also choose the click actions, and then you can just continue to add other components. So you'll see you have navigation components, lists, you have buttons, simple forms and fields. So there are tons of options that you can add in here. So, <clears throat> and the last thing we'll do is we'll just click a preview just to see what this looks like real quick. And you'll see we have sign up and then it takes you to this sign up page. So really, really clean look overall. And I love that they give you the option to choose from different options for viewing it as a Galaxy device as opposed to an iPhone. Um, so overall, I think that this is an amazing platform and I love that they offer chat function or features and basically they give you the ability to do some of the more popular features and functions that other applications either don't or make you pay extra for. A lot of people ask for chat functionality and tons of other sharing options. So I think that this is an incredibly competitive platform, especially for the price. Being able to pay 50 a month and essentially publish to both app stores, so the Google Play and the Apple App Store, I think is huge. And I love this interface. It's just really clean and easy to navigate, really easy to basically understand the flow of what goes to what. So you don't have to 
have 20 pages and then try to figure out, okay, what page links to what, how does this work? So it's a really clean interface. The canvas is really easy to use. It's easy to zoom in and out, easy to select options and edit settings. So I think that this is an amazing platform. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I will see you all in the next video.